Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I recently completed a commission painting for a client who wanted to gift it to his girlfriend for her birthday. The painting is based on a photo they took during their holiday in a beautiful Labuan Bajo, Indonesia. It was so interesting that a few weeks later, after finishing the painting, I ended up taking a short holiday there myself. It was a spontaneous trip. A friend invited me to join a girl's getaway. So it made me wonder if I somehow attracted the trip while working on the painting. The whole experience was incredibly interesting. Maybe next time I will paint a castle in the woods and see what happens. I am a bit rusty with watercolor since it's been a while since I last used them. But I really want to make a personalized thank you card with a small, cute and really quick watercolor painting on it. So I did my best. <laughs> I was in a bit of rush while making this commission painting because I had to deliver it to Uluwatu for that birthday party. It's about an hour and maybe 10 minutes from where I live. So yeah, I didn't want to be late. This is the video that I got. I'm sorry if it is not a perfect angle towards the end. I wanted to show you the result, but there you go. <laughs> I was really in a rush. It's a new day and time to start a new painting. A few weeks ago, I felt confident that I had found my style. But since then, I haven't created anything similar. So, realizing this is... it was tough. And I became so focused on finding my style that I actually lost the joy of making art. This isn't something I want to experience. I was thinking maybe I haven't created enough failed paintings or made enough attempts. I still feel restrained and afraid of making mistakes when I start a new painting. This feeling goes ups and down. I don't know if you feel the same thing. So after I finish this painting, I did some exercises. I painted all the ideas piling up in my head on a canvas pad, creating lots of small and rough paintings just to get them out of my system. In the next video, I wanted to show you all those exercises that I did and yeah, there are plenty of ideas in my head but if I keep thinking about it, it will never happen so this is a perfect outlet to, to see it, you know? And then from there then I can pull a silver lining for the art that I want to make. My husband has wanted a dog for a long time and he finally got his dream dog, a Frenchie named Bruce. His name inspired by Bruce Wayne from the Batman movies because of his big ears. Bruce now is 4 months old 
and currently in his very naughty phase. So there is a lot of getting used to him. But he's not allowed to be in the second floor because he would bite everything. So the second floor strictly only for me and Jin the cat. In this painting, I wanted to create something that represents being in the zone, surrounded by the things that you love. It's a place you can call home, a safe, comfortable space filled with inspiration. It was a hot day as usual and I was feeling a bit peckish so I snack on a classic Asian treat dry noodles with a seasoning that is packed with MSG <laughs> I needed a little kick of liver This is the part where I got caught up in the details. As a perfectionist, I couldn't help but focus intensely until the very end. And yeah, I was so absorbed that I forgot to step back and view the whole painting from a distance. This painting somehow reminds me of the vibe from the thin lit novels I read as a teenager. Those filled with innocent love stories that make you giggle. It's a nice feeling bringing back memories of adolescence life. So this is it, this is the final touch and I am going to rip off the tape around the area. I don't think I will paint on this canvas pad again, I'll try not to because I just don't like it being so thin and yeah, I don't know. I prefer to paint on a more sturdy thing like canvas or maybe canvas board. So yeah, I cannot wait for the next video. I'm gonna create something special. Cannot wait to share it with you all. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, also share the video. And I will see you again next time. And take care and love you.